Hey guys, what's up? I thought for today's video I might preview an app game that might get you in the spooky mood. Ooh. I also have this costume that I have not got enough wear out of, so... <laughs> Does this look cool? Does that look cool? My magnifying glass is a little tiny. It's because I'm so good at finding the clues. Speaking of clues, we're gonna play Ginny LeClue, which is a brand new mystery about adventure and growing up. Ginny must use her detective skills to clear the name of someone she loves, while uncovering the truth behind a murder in the peaceful town of Arthurton. Hmm. Hmm. Ginny LeClue is available on Apple Arcade and on Steam. For today's video, we'll be playing it on my iPhone 11 Pro in Apple Arcade, which if you haven't checked it out yet, there is a one month free trial, and after that, it's $4.99. I will say that it is worth every penny. Apple has done a really good job at curating a bunch of exclusive app games just for Apple Arcade. With Apple Arcade, you never have to pay for any premiums or any add-ons. It's all included no matter what. They're not paying me to say this. I just play on my phone an awful lot and I figured you guys might want to know about it. I will also say I have been waiting quite some time to play Jenny LeClue. It is such a cute game. The artwork reminds me of Night in the Woods. It looks so fun and bright and colorful and playful. I just feel like it fits my aesthetic and we're gonna have a really good time previewing this game together. So without further ado, let's jump in. I think it's time we solve a mystery. Arthurton, you'll never want to leave. You'll never leave. Oh, I'm already in the spooky mood. I need my magnifying glass. So tiny. <laughs> I think this is Chewy's. We got this for Chewy. Oh my gosh, totally normal? Press and hold, Chewy's creepy. It's creepy. Oh, I gotta press and hold. No, this was so creepy. What, there's decisions? I didn't know there was decisions. There was a timer running out. I had to choose. Oh, I'm, I'm this person? I can walk? What is going on? I'm getting on a boat? This is not Ginny. Who is this? Accelerate? Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, I'm figuring this out. Oh, I got it. A new cool thing about uh, the new iOS is that you can hook a controller up and play any of the app games. So that is an option if you don't want to do the touch screen. I play app games a lot when I'm traveling, so... Don't always have a controller. Okay, there's scary crows. Guys, something spooky is about to happen. Danger, no swimming. What's happening? You shouldn't be on a boat in the ocean. <gasps> Rotate? What am I trying to do? Oh, am I trying to connect something? Oh, I see. The first puzzle and I'm struggling. Oh, they have to be lined up there. Okay, okay, I can do this. One more. Oh, no, no, it doesn't do it. There's that one. No, no. How do I get this to line up? There we go, I did it, I did it. First puzzle and it only took me five minutes. Lena, you'd be good at this game. Oh, do I keep going? What's happening? Oh, there's something underneath. <gasps> what is this? What is that? Secret tunnel? Do I go in? I'm scared. <gasps> oh, it's an elevator. This guy's Batman. But that's not Jenny LeClue. Who is this guy? Is he cool? Is he bad? First thoughts, good or bad? People in the room? I don't know why I asked. <laughs> Wait, this isn't Jenny LeClue either. We haven't even introduced the main character yet. I think we gotta wake him up. Oh, he woke himself up. What? Who? Whoa, I must have dozed off again. Perhaps we need a spot of tea to wake us up. What do you say, Rufus? <laughs> yes, yes, quite right. Better get back to work. This book won't write itself. Maybe I should start somewhere easier. I'll come back to the prologue later. Is this book about Jenny? The sun rose over another peaceful day in picturesque Arthurton. <gasps> He's writing the story. Oh, I love when games start like this. It just like reminds me of like never ending story. Arthurton. Oh, to the casual observer, Arthurton seemed like any other small quiet town. It was nestled in a valley between two mountains, lined by lustrous forests and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. It looks like a nice place. I'd go there. <gasps> Night in the Woods vibes. It had a main street with all the essentials, including a place to sip coffee. It had schools, a college, a church, and a police station. It even had a museum no one ever visited. Mm. It was the kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. Typical, maybe even forgettable. Oh. Not a standout place. Okay. But then a murder happened here. But there was one thing in Arthurton that was unlike any other town in the whole world. What is it? Jenny! Actually, it, it was a girl. Her name was Jenny LeClue. I love it. She's flossing her little tooth. And she was the world's greatest detective. <gasps> What's up, Jenny? 
Pick up the phone. Oh. Finkelstein residence. Oh, hello, Glenda. Yes, he, he said he might ring. Okay. Patch me through then. What's happening? I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. Richard? Yes, uh, I got it. I did. And my answer is no. I understand that, but yes, of course. But no, no, no. Nothing is settled. I'm not going to do it. It goes against everything my books stand for. What's happening? No, not yet, but if I could just please listen to what I'm saying, Richard. Oh, oh my gosh, what's happening? What do I gotta do? You want me to type this? What do I do? Oh, I can switch around. Oh, chapter one. Oh, yeah, we've read this already. Oh, here we go. Letter to Finkelstein Draft. Well, it's Megan, Arthur K. Finkelstein. And here we are at book 38 of Jenny LeClue series. Her most joyful adventure yet. Oh, thank you thank to you. all the new Jenny LeClue fans, fans out there. You have both been incredibly supportive. To answer your questions, one, despite any rumors you may have heard, of course, the Ginny LeClue books will continue, as long as there is ink in my pen and ribbon in my typewriter. Number two, yes, it will be more of the same. I refuse to change my formula. Arthurton will always be a safe and happy place. <gasps> what are all these names? It's a bunch of names. Oh, these are all the Kickstarter people. That's cool. Oh, if I do this. <gasps> nice. Okay. Ooh, I can knock the, the pencil off. Oh, I can knock the tea over if I want. <gasps> what is this? Dear Arthur, I hope all is well. Afraid I've got bad news, old chum. There's no easy way to say it. I've attached the latest book sales. <gasps> and they're going down. Nowadays, young readers oh, want more, more mystery and danger. You're losing them with Ginny's increasingly timid and repetitive adventures. Oh, one bit of good news. It's too late for the stores to cancel the orders for next week's book. So we're going to give you one last go and see if you can breathe some life into the old girl. We want you to try a proper murder mystery. Start killing people off. Add some drama. The bottom line is, if you don't step it up, I'm afraid... It's a case of Jenny and the last hurrah. <sighs> Sad. He doesn't want to murder people. Oh, man. In other positive news, someone from a uh, real newspaper finally reviewed your last book. Oh, and they called it a hack. Jenny LeClue and the Missing Marmalade Sandwich. Oh, I would totally watch that. I imagine all of this might come as a bit of a shock, but we've got to move with the times. Throw in a murder or two and a dash of real tragedy, and who knows? Maybe you got... One great story left in you. I'll ring you later. Oh, this is Richard. Oh, Richard kind of seems like his friend, though. I can only really move through the desk. This, can we knock over this tea? No, we're just moving it around. Oh, that's it. Okay, that was how we gathered clues. You don't understand what you're asking for. You want me to turn Ginny's world upside down? Kill off my characters and destroy everything I've built over the last 30 years? Well, that's a long time. Fine, I'll give you what you want, but I warn you, I'm a stream of consciousness writer, and you have unleashed my fury. Good day, sir. He's very upset. Oh, he just threw that down. Okay, Jenny LeClue is a fictional character. That is what we've learned. Book sales are bad, boring, predictable. Ha! If it's a murder they want, it's a murder they'll get. He's typing away. What's about to happen? Jenny LeClue, detective. Chapter one. It should have been another perfect day. Jenny LaCroix's dead in this game! Her skin was pale, her eyes glassy and frozen. What cruel fate had befallen our beloved detective? Oh no, they're putting they're putting makeup on her sunk. She's awake? Is she awake? No, no, no! No! Uh, uh, never move the victim! Miss LeClue, she's she's doing it again. Well, it's her mom, Jenny LeClue. You are a dead body. Dead bodies don't talk. Julie LeClue, former detective, teaches dumb students, terrible cook and great mom. But he's doing it wrong. As wonderful as it would be if all cadavers were so talkative, we must deduce the cause of death without their help. 
with only the evidence laid before us. We build a picture from the fragments left behind. We collect the clues, interpret the data, and solve our puzzle one piece at a time, until it feels as if the victim is speaking to us. But Jenny is right, Jonathan. You mustn't disturb the crime scene. Vital evidence could be lost. Oh, sorry, Miss Clue. Hmm. Uh oh, made an enemy. Okay. You've all had a chance to study the body. Who can postulate how she met her demise? Oh, uh, me, me. I think it was an accident. Yeah, she obviously wasn't looking where she was going. So she slipped on the wet floor and cracked her head open like an egg. And then she bled to death. Really? Uh, how can you tell? Well, uh, there's a giant pool of, of blood around her head. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I was being uh, sarcastic. Oh, actually, dun, dun, dun. you're both wrong. What? It was cold blooded. Murder! Murder? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, where's the murder weapon? No, there's no evidence anyone else was even here. Oh, but yes, there is. It was a murder. And I can prove it! The case of the dead lab assistant. <laughs> Jenny had read all the books. She'd absorbed all her mother's techniques. But there was nothing quite like getting your hands dirty. How many people get the chance to solve their own murder? The first step in any good deduction was collecting evidence. Seemingly insignificant details could provide a vital piece of the puzzle. First, I'll search the crime scene for clues. Then she'd analyze the data. And finally, deduce the real cause of death. Okay, we can interact with things. Ginny's blue sweater was scruffy and quite uncomfortable, but her grandmother had knitted it, so it was her favorite. The more it itched, the closer she felt to her. Oh, okay, but we have something here. There's like a, a little cut there. One of two clues found. Oh, sweet. <gasps> There's dirt on her boot. Approximately eight sizes too big. Oh, and covered in mud. Two clues found. What's this? The floor is wet and slippery but also immaculately clean. Hmm, what a waste of perfectly good coffee. Jenny's love for coffee was almost as strong as her passion for crime solving. Chalky green residue on the rim. Smells like burnt matches. Hmm, right, four of eight clues have been gathered. There's a little bit of green on her mouth. The victim has a green smudge on her lips. It's not lipstick, but what could it be? There's no doubt the victim lost a lot of blood. We found six of eight clues. Without her trusty bifocals, Ginny couldn't see the nose in front of her face. They were her window to the world and the lens through which she focused her keen detective vision. Okay, that's seven of eight clues. It wasn't Ginny's style to wear accessories. <gasps> but this hair clip was the exception. Its function as a lockpick had saved Ginny from a long night trapped in her school locker. She'd worn it ever since. Right, those are all the clues. I've seen enough. Time to wrap up this case. What's she gonna say? Ginny was a meticulous record keeper, noting every relevant clue in her trusty journal. How do I know the victim didn't slip? Wet floor, sweater, boots, pool of blood, glasses. The victim is wearing giant muddy boots. A great detective knew that solving a mystery was simply a matter of connecting the dots. I'm certain this wasn't a mere accident. Now, I just need to prove it. So how do we make a deduction? The victim is wearing thick rim glasses with a strong prescription. Oh. The victim is wearing giant muddy boots. Now why would you put on the wrong thing? So what's the deduction? I gotta hold this and see how they're connected. <gasps> no, that's not it. I'm missing something. <gasps> Whoa, this is how you figure it out. Okay, um, so I think it's wet floor and muddy boots, right? Let's see. Where are they? The victim's boots were filthy. They should have left big muddy footprints on the floor. So where are they? Ooh, all right. We're getting somewhere. Someone else was here, but who? Either someone washed away her footprints or she was carried here. Oh. That's how we solved our first mystery. What was the real cause of death? Okay, that proves that she didn't slip. Good. The floor is wet and squeaky clean, not a mark on it. Hmm. I say, so how did she actually die? I think it was the cup of coffee and the stuff on her mouth. Whatever she ate poisoned her. 
Coffee equals deadly, but delicious. Smells of burnt matches. There's a green residue on the bottom of the victim's coffee cup. It smells of burnt matches. Phosphorus! Also found in common garden fertilizer. Oh no! The same green mark is on the victim's lips. Her coffee was spiked with fertilizer. Gross, that's really gross. How did she not notice that? Someone clearly wanted her dead. Solved! Ah, the case of the dead lab assistant. Gone before her time. Was it poison? Yes. A blow to the head? Yes. An accident? Certainly not. No footprints and an unshattered mug. She was killed somewhere else and carried here. This is a story of a scorned ex-lover. <laughs> Jenny, the gardener, enacting his revenge. Jenny, a deadly brew of fertilizer and caffeine coursing through her veins. That's quite enough, thank you. Jesus, what happens to the gardener? I is this going to be on the test? Remember class, even the smartest criminals make mistakes. This is how we catch a killer. But what's the point of all this? Yeah, uh, there hasn't been a murder in Arthurton in years. Every town has a dark side, even Arthurton. By doubting, we are led to question. And by questioning, we arrive at the truth. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget, next class is our field trip to the morgue. Ooh. So have a light lunch. The students need to think for themselves, Jenny. That's why they're here at Gumbolt, to learn. I just figured we all had places to go. Speaking of which, and where are you off to, young lady? I'm a dead body, Mom, remember? Dead bodies don't tell. See ya! Wait! Before you go, I have something for you. Cool, what is it? If I told you, that would spoil the fun, wouldn't it? The Leclus didn't simply hand each other presents. They hid them. It was a family tradition, and Ginny had developed a sixth sense for finding them. With her trusty magnifying glass at her side, nothing eluded her. <gasps> we gotta find her present. This is cool. This is so cool. Okay. Woo. All right. <gasps> what is it? Is that it? <gasps> a new journal! To Ginny, there was nothing better than the aroma of a fresh leather notebook. It smelled like mystery. Without missing a beat, she did what any detective worth their salt would do. She decorated it. Wait, what? I heart nerds as a sticker. What can you do? Oh, sweet. You can add more stickers to it. We'll make that bigger. Oh, this is pretty satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. Let's add some hearts in there. Oops, put that. I wanna put the heart up here. Oh my gosh, I love this. Should I add one more thing? X marks the spot. Oops. Nice! Okay, I think we're done. A great detective never gives up. Love, Mom. A new journal meant new adventures. She imagined all the thrilling cases that would soon fill its pages. And on the first page, her mother had written an inscription. A great detective never gives up. Love, Mom. Is there more stuff on here? Is this my thing that I'm gonna have to keep track of? Oh, cool. I could probably uh, collect more stickers along the way. That's pretty dope. I love it! Thanks, Mom! Jenny, I wanted to talk about, um, to say, um, somewhere in the back of Jenny's highly caffeinated brain, an alarm bell was ringing. Her mom was hesitating. What could be causing her to act so out of character? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Limited eye contact. Mm, her eyes are watery. Defensive body language. Missing ring. <gasps> Crossed arms. Furrowed brow. Jenny saw it coming from a mile away. No! Her mother was about to get emotional. It's about to happen. I really gotta go. No, Jenny, wait. I need your help. What? Really? Jenny couldn't believe her ears. It was extremely unusual for her mother to ask her for help. It must be something very important. Tracing the steps of a deranged killer? A cold case that only someone with Jenny's expertise could solve? I've misplaced the students' essays on decapitation. See if you can find them for me before you leave. I have to run. Mm. Wow, the case of the misplaced papers. Are you sure you wanna trust me with such a complex task? I have no doubt you'll be able to find them. They're around here somewhere. Ginny was unsure if her mother was unable to detect sarcasm or just really good at ignoring it. Probably it. All right, let's help mom, come on. You had to make a choice. Okay, mom, I'll find them before I leave. On one condition. Yes? 
You have to let me help grade them. One of Ginny's favorite pastimes was grading papers. What a weirdo. Nothing pleased her more than giving a big shiny F to an overconfident student. She <laughs> Don't push your luck. Clean. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Find the papers and then go straight home. But I'm meeting Keith tonight. Who's Keith? No buts, remember? Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still feeling the effects of being poisoned for your class. Well then, I have the perfect antidote. You're staying with your cousin this weekend and you still need to pack this again. Look, I've considered your offer, mom, and I'm going to have to decline. I'm old enough to take care of myself. I'll be back late tonight. There's meatloaf in the fridge. Question motive. Late again? What are you up to? Jenny LeClue, it's been a difficult week. Could you please just do what you are told for once and stop asking questions? Fine, and try to stay out of trouble. When do I ever get into trouble? <laughs> what? I don't know how this is gonna get started. All right, let's find these papers and get out of here. This is crazy. We can walk, oh cool, or finally, we're finally walking as Jenny LeClue. Looking rather trim today, Ethan. New diet? It's a skeleton, he's not saying anything. What's the matter? Lost your funny bone? Oh, Jenny, a little silly. I think we can use the magnifying glass to see if we see anything. Okay, we don't need it. Let's keep looking this way. Oh, wait, I, I see something. You guys see it? What, there's a piece of paper there. Inspect the chalkboard. Becoming a great detective took more than book smarts. You need real life experience, and Ginny was always on the lookout for a chance to get her hands dirty. Well, that's cool. There's like a paper right there, and I can't look at it, and it's killing me. Like, like what is that paper? You, you see it right there? It's obviously nothing. Sam in the microscope? Please do not touch. Hmm, someone is running an experiment. Whoa, what is this? Ew, gross. Pretty soon, it's going to sprout legs. Let's get out of here, that's nasty. I've only seen one spot that might have them. What else could they be? A look at this jam jar. One of Jenny's earliest memories was making raspberry jam with her mom. It's the perfect substitute for blood in a class of <laughs> demonstrators. And better tasting than pig's blood, the textbook recommends. Gross. I am seeing it. I'm seeing papers right there. Hmm. I'm inspecting this. I'm looking at everything. <gasps> oh, that's how I get to do it. Genius. To be fair, I spotted that from a mile away. Boom, baby! It's one of the student's papers! You can tell by the terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Mom must have put them behind the chalkboard. Oh, boom! Well, we found the first one. Oh, and there they are. I can move it. Yes! Boom! I'm a detective. Pick up the papers. Found you. Now time to get out of here. Nice, we finished our first mission. Oh, I gotta leave. That's how you exit. Leave the classroom. Jenny looked around the room one last time. Was she ready to leave? It's time to leave. Oh, that's so cool. All right, guys. That is where I'm gonna end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this really cute game. There's a lot of fun detective work, different type of kind of little point and click games that you can do throughout the game. So I feel like it doesn't get stale. I would have to say it's really cute and I can't wait to play it some more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. It lets me know that you want more. If you want to see me play more of Ginny LeClue, let me know in the comments down below. I'll probably bring it on over to my gaming channel and play it on Steam or on Twitch. But let me know in the comments down below too what app games you're playing lately or what game you're playing lately that you're really enjoying. I'd love to check them out. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!